So now some questions related to the speed time graph, distance time graph we already discussed. So in figure 1.2 shows a speed time graph for three more objects, D, E, and F. Describe the motion of an object by selecting an appropriate description from the list. What is D? The four options available, constant speed, constant acceleration, increasing acceleration, or stationary. Increasing acceleration. So increasing acceleration because it is, the slope is increasing, so it means that's why it is increasing acceleration. So this one is D. And the time axis here, this is the time axis. Then the second one, what about F? What about E, sorry? This one is E. Constant acceleration. Constant acceleration because it's a straight line. Whenever there's a straight line, it means it will be a constant acceleration. So E is the constant acceleration. And what about F? A horizontal line, but it is above the origin, not on the origin. Constant if it was a speed. constant speed, why we don't say it's stationary? If it was a stationary, then the speed should also be zero because if it's a speed time graph, stationary object will have a line on the x-axis, which means the speed is zero. So if this line was there on the x-axis, it means that is stationary. But because it is above which shows that the speed is not changing. And there's a certain value of a speed and that value of the speed is not changing. That's why we say it's at constant speed. So on the x-axis, if the horizontal line, which means the speed is zero or object is stationary. But above the x-axis, a horizontal line for speed time graph especially, it means that the object is moving at a constant speed. In question two, a driving instructor gives a student a sudden order to stop the car in the shortest possible time. On figure 1.1 shows a speed time graph for a motion of a car from a moment. The order is given till the car is stopped. The order is to stop. This is a point where an instructor gave the order to stop the car. State the speed at time is equals to zero second. What is the speed when time is equals to zero? What is this value of a speed? When time is equals to zero, what is the value of this speed? Point two. It is 18 actually, because why? Because 10 boxes equals to 10, so each box is one. So there, it is about eight boxes above 10, so it means it is 18. So 18 meter per second. Next one suggests why the car continue to travel for a 0.9 seconds. Like even though the instructor gave an order that stop the car, but the car does not change the speed for about 0.9 seconds. What might be a reason for that? Why it continue to move with the same speed for 18 meter per second for 0.9 seconds? Reaction time. So reaction time, a person will take time to react to the order. And then, like example, if someone will order stop the car, so first you will take input that, and then you will react to that order, and then you will stop the car. So that time interval to react to that instruction is about 0.9 seconds. That's why this car continue to move for 0.9 seconds. So reaction time, or the driver takes time to react to the instruction. Then the deceleration of a car, between 0.9 to 4 seconds. So from 0.9 to 4 seconds, we want the deceleration, the change in speed. So we for acceleration and deceleration, we can use a formula or we can also find the gradient. If it is a straight line, you can use a formula or you can find the gradient, you will get the same result. It won't make difference. 
like find whenever the line is straight you can just use a formula or the gradient you will get the same answer but if it's a curve then you have to draw a tangent and find the gradient if it's a curve the formula will not work but because it's a straight line so i can use a formula directly so speed at this 0.9 seconds the speed at this point that is a starting speed which was 18 meter per second the car stops so final speed is zero and the time interval from 0.9 to 4 so it means that interval will be 3.1 seconds so this is 3.1 seconds so we need acceleration or a deceleration the same formula v minus u over t why i'm using a formula because it's a straight line so you can use a formula and get the answer or i can also take two points and find the gradient to work out the answer so the final speed is zero initial is 18 divided by time interval 3.1 what is the answer for this question 18 it will be negative because it's a deceleration so it will be negative 18 divided by 3.1? 5.8. So 5.8 and the unit of acceleration and deceleration is same. Even though it's a negative answer, like it will be minus 5.81. But as I mentioned, in the question, it is a deceleration. So I don't have to put negative here in the, my answer. I just write the magnitude, the number. As it did not want us to show that it's accelerating or decelerating. So we can write only the magnitude, the number will give you the marks. Then total distance travel from zero seconds. The total distance travel by an object is equal to area under the graph. So what we can do, we can divide in, like we can use a trapezium or I can divide this into parts. One is I can use a rectangle and the other region I can use a triangle. So area of the rectangle length into width so length is 0 0.9 and the height here is 18, so 0 0.9 multiplied by 18. That will give us the area of the rectangle. What about area of the triangle? It will be half. It's starting from 0.9 and ending at four, so that's 3.1, the base is 3.1 and the height is how much 18? So 0.9 into 18, Zero point nine times eighteen is equal to sixteen point two. So this will be sixteen point two, and three point one times eighteen. That's divided by two, which is twenty seven point nine. But we want the total area, so we just sum twenty seven point nine plus sixteen point two. That will give us the total distance travel. That is about. 44 because we will add so this will be the total distance travel is 44.1 meter if speed is in meter in time in second the final answer in meter speed is in kilometer per hour and time in hour then the final answer will be kilometers Is it uh, clear? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. The next one, figure 1.1 1 .1 shows the axes which are used to plot the graphs on a figure 1.2 draw the graph for an object with a constant acceleration and label that as. So use the screen annotation. 
to show an object is moving at a constant so it should be a straight line and so and you have to label that so we we'll label that as s then there is a graph for increasing acceleration another graph for a speed time for an object acceleration is increasing so increasing acceleration means it should be a curve that is we we'll label that as t in this question figure sometime you have the axes is available like speed and time and you have to complete a graph in this question figure uh, the car start from rest the car start from rest and has a constant acceleration till 28 meter per second so it reaches a speed of 28 meter per second with a constant acceleration from 0 to 15 So fifteen second, like here, ten. Each box is equals to one. Each ten boxes equals to ten, so each box is one. No, but it's a constant acceleration, so we have to draw a straight line. So in ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So this is fifteen and twenty-eight. Each box is again on y-axis. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is twenty-eight. So it continue, yeah, twenty eight and fifteen. So it continue at a constant speed, a constant acceleration, not speed. Then from fifteen seconds to thirty two seconds, there's a constant speed. So it continue at a constant speed from fifteen to thirty two seconds. So this is thirty two. So we'll draw a straight line. Then from thirty two second, it has a deceleration of two, and it stop. but we want to find how much time it will take to stop so we have to do a working here to work out the time so acceleration is final speed minus initial divided by time if i need the time the time is change in speed velocity divided by acceleration so change in velocity the final speed is zero the initial speed was 28 at as it was moving at 28 and acceleration is deceleration is 2 but because deceleration so i write here minus 2 so when i simplify like minus 28 divided by minus 2 so it will take 14 seconds to stop so using this we worked out how much time it will take to stop so from 32 seconds it will take further 14 seconds to stop so 32 plus 14 that will make 46 so 1 2 3 4 5 And this is forty nine, eight, seven, and six. So this will be forty six, and it has a constant deceleration. So if it's a constant deceleration, there will be a straight line. There will be a straight line which shows a constant deceleration. So first part, we already know the final speed and the time, so we don't need to do any calculation. The second part, we already know it was moving at a constant speed, but for third part. we don't know how much time it will take to stop that's why first what we did we calculated the time it will take to stop so it was taking 14 seconds already it was at 32 seconds so further 14 second makes 46 that's how we complete the graph speed time graph for this object a car which start with a constant acceleration then constant speed and then constant deceleration is it uh, clear discussion yes 